Buddy Perrier, and we are down in Ponce, Puerto Rico. Is that how you say it? Yes, sir. And we are getting ready to send a shipment of mostly rice and beans and oil to Haiti, uh, Pericleo and iOS. And thankful, we're thankful for a lot of or, uh, other organizations that have partnered with us. Uh, MMO raised a lot of money giving Tuesday uh, to be part of this. And we are sending what, like 50,000 pounds? Yeah, somewhere around 55,000. Around 55,000 pounds. In Matthew chapter 14, we find the well-known story of Jesus feeding the 5,000. However, before he feeds the multitude, there was some interaction with his disciples. Their solution to the hunger of the multitude was this, send the multitude away. That's exactly what they said in verse 15. Jesus had a different solution. You give them something to eat. Verse 17, the human reasoning aspect of the disciples comes out, and it's basically this, we don't have enough. Verse 19, Jesus gave the loaves to his disciples and the disciples to the multitude. There's a huge hunger crisis in Haiti right now, along with many other problems that the nation is facing. Saying we don't have enough to make a real difference has never been the response that the Lord is looking for from his disciples. Ours is simply to walk by faith, obey God as he leads us in making a difference, and rest in the fact that he is able to do much more than we could ever ask or think. We praise the Lord for the many churches and organizations who have partnered together to make this trip a reality. Basic food supplies that will last for approximately three weeks were given out to over 1,500 people throughout our churches in some of the poorest regions of Haiti. It may not seem like much, but God is already multiplying this effort by providing for more trips in the near future. If you'd like to be a part of this relief effort, you can give at paracleo.com. Thank you so much to all of you who gave and are still giving to make a difference in the lives of our brothers and sisters during these extremely difficult times. Merci,